G-O-N-O-M-E-T-R-I-C, trigonometric ratios, okay? That means it's a ratio of two sides of a right triangle, okay? In the next several sections, they're pretty much just a right triangle all over the place, all right? Now, let's look at some stuff. There's sine. Sine, let me see if you can see that on the camera. Oh yeah, you're good, okay? Sine is opposite leg over the hypotenuse. And you're thinking, what the junk are you talking about? All right? We got a right triangle. That's, we always know where the hypotenuse is, correct? It's always opposite the right angle. Okay, it's the longest side, it's opposite the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. Okay, now, the opposite, and then the other word we're gonna learn is adjacent, you're gonna have to know, they depend on which angle you're coming from, okay? It's like which house you're sitting at. That's what matters. Let's say we pick this angle right here. What do you think the opposite side of this is gonna be, the opposite leg? Well, the one that's opposite, so that's opposite. And then adjacent means side by side, so adjacent goes right next to it, okay? Whenever you get a drawing and you get an angle, it's best to circle that angle, and then you can find the opposite and adjacent automatically in hypotenuse. Cool. All right, so we got sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, which I don't know how to spell very well. Oh, that was easy. Thought it might be more tricky. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then there's tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. Okay, now these are all on your calculator and they're sitting in a place that you might have seen before. It's right above the numbers, okay? One through nine, right above those, sine, cosine, and tangent. It says sin, cos, and tan. Sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, let me give you a fair warning. Anytime you work problems about this, here's something you need to know. In your calculator, you need to put it in degree mode first. If not, you will get all the wrong answers when dealing with sine, cosine, and tangent. To put it in degree mode, you hit uh, mode at the top, middle, I believe. Yeah, hit mode and then go down and make sure the degree is highlighted, okay? Goody gum drops. Now, guess what? We've got a special little word that we use to remember this, all this stuff right here. It's kind of like a key that helps us remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. That way when we get a triangle and we have like some information, we can know if we need to use sine, cosine, or tangent, okay? Here it is. Write this down. So, ka, toa, which means that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. It's kind of like our key that we use to figure out all this stuff. So, ka, toa. Call it so, ka, toa. Now, another thing some people call it is they use it as. Uh, whatever it's called, abbreviation for um, a phrase. It goes, some old hag caught another hag tripping on acid. All right, that's what some people say. So, <laughs> some old hag caught another hag tripping on acid. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna learn, either that or that. Whatever helps you remember it best. Okay? Let's say, we got a right triangle, okay? Let's say I know that's the right angle. Uh, let's say I'm coming from angle A. Let's say this is 12 and this is 13. And this is 5. Okay? Did that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that work. That's a right triangle. Those are measurements. I don't know why I had to look that up. I got doubted because somebody said, uh uh, they didn't know anything they're talking about. Alright, so. Let's say angle A is our angle. And we want to put the, what the sine is, what the cosine is, and what the tangent is for that. Sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Always good to label the hypotenuse right there. I know it's opposite the right angle. Opposite of A, 12 over the hypotenuse is 12 over 13. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, it's 5 over 13. And then tangent, it's opposite over adjacent, so it's 12 over 5. Now, if you type that in your calculator, sine, 
in your calculator, you hit sign, and that's going to give you a parentheses. And you type in 12 over 13, close parentheses, hit enter, you're going to get the angle measure for that angle. And you would get the same angle measure if you typed any of these in, okay? If you have all three measures, it's easy. You can just do any one you want, whatever you feel most comfortable with, sine, cosine, or tangent. While I'm erasing this, you can think about how much you'd rather be outside than doing what you're doing right now. Let's say we got ourselves a right triangle. The right triangle, we'll label it A, B, C, 41 degrees, and 6.1. And let's say we want to find the measure of A, B. We want to find this measure right here, okay? First of all, remember you're using so, ka, toa to know if you're using sine, cosine, or tangent. You solve it from there. Okay? From this angle, I always circle the angle I'm coming from because that helps me remember I don't get screwed up. What is 6.1's relationship? It's opposite. X's relationship to adjacent. Which one has an O and an A in it? Ding, 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 ding. Tangent. So you put tangent of your angle, which is 41 degrees, equals opposite, because it's first, it goes on top, 6.1 over adjacent was this x. Now, two ways to do this. First way is the easy way if you can remember it, okay, but you have to remember. We're solving this, okay? We don't think of 41 as a number, like it's not x but times 41, okay? This is a number we know. We know that number. If you type that in your calculator, you'll get a specific number. So keep this sucker together. It is with, it's all one thing until you hit enter and you want to find your final answer. What we can do is, first option, if the variable is on the bottom, we can just switch these two. Switch them and make it x equals 6.1 over tangent of 41. Type in your calculator and you got your answer. That's one way to do it, okay? You can do that. The official way, like the reason you can do this, blah, 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 you can always put this over 1, cross multiply, which would be x times tangent 41 equals, and then 6.1 times 1, which is 6.1. And then you would divide tangent of 41 on both sides. And then when you type it in your calculator, if you're in degree mode like you're supposed to, so make sure you're in degree mode, you are good. I am. Oh, if you are, you're probably not. All right. Do 6.1 divided by tangent, which is like two little spaces above the numbers, of 41. Hit enter. I got 7.0. I'll say around to the nearest tenth, we'll say it's 7.0, okay? Because it wasn't exactly 7, so I can't just put 7, but I want to round right there, okay? So that's that measure. And then I can do Pythagorean theorem to find my hypotenuse, or I can do this again. Okay, well, why not? Let's do it again. Uh, let's say that's 41, so that's opposite, that's hypotenuse. That means we're doing sine, sine of 41 equals 6.1 over x. I think the easiest thing is to switch them when the variable's on the bottom, and then that'll be x equals 6.1 divided by sine of 41. Type that in our calculator. We get 9.3. Okay? Now, do these look like they make sense? According to the way we do angle stuff, Hypotenuse should always be the biggest because it's the biggest angle, 9.3. That works. Can I find this angle measure up here? Yeah. It's just 180 is all these. Subtract 90, you got 90. Subtract 41, you've got, what is it, 40, 49. Okay? That means that this side is going to be bigger than this side, which it is. So it works. You're done. And that's really it. You switch it if it's on the variables on the bottom. Say that uh, it hadn't been. Say it had been like, the variable on the top, like tangent of 41, I'm just making this up, so don't quote me, uh, equals 6.1 over x. Say that was the case. All we have to do is multiply these, and that's our answer. One step, and we're done after you set it up, if the variable is on the top, okay? Because when you cross multiply, this is just multiply times 1, and you'd be done, okay? Now, the thing to remember is, when you type in your calculator, they give you a parentheses, a lot of people put 41 times 6.1 and then close the parentheses. No. Close that parentheses on that tangent 41. Then multiply times 6.1.
If you don't ever want to forget, you could put the number first and then multiply it, and you don't have to worry about closing parentheses.